Welcome to this second part of our third part video series on subjective refraction. The first video was a discussion on the setup and getting the best visual sphere. In this specific video, we will focus on how to check if a patient needs a cylinder in the first place and then fine tune the axis and the power of the cylinder. In the next third part of this series, we will discuss the final checks before a prescription is given. My name is Dr. Manyara. Remember to subscribe in order to receive alerts when we do upload our other related videos. So let's get started. To check if a patient needs a cylinder, we use the Jackson Cross Cylinder. Let the patient look at a round target first to check the axis and then the power of the cylinder. The first thing is to direct the patient to look at a round target. And with the spherical correction in place, the one that we just did in the video one, present the Jackson cross cylinder with the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder first at 90 degrees and then at 180 degrees and then at 45 degrees. What you are doing here is to just check whether the patient accepts a cylinder in any of these meridia. If your starting point is the objective refraction results, Align the dots in the Jackson cross cylinder with the axis on the trial frame. Then flip over and ask the patient if the view is clearer and sharper. If the patient does not see any difference at all between the two choices that you've given, then he does not need a cylinder and this process stops there. But if he does, then he needs a cylinder. Remember, if using a plus minus 0.5, zero diopters jackson cross cylinder the real change of flipping is one diopter and the patient will definitely see or notice the change but again remember you have to choose the correct power of the jackson cross cylinder for each patient depending on their current vision if one view is clearer turn the trial cylinder towards the red dot to about 10 degrees after this, align the dot in the Jackson cross cylinder again with the axis in the trial frame and repeat the process. Remember, we want to fine tune the axis first. Ask the patient again which view is clearer and when they say whichever side is clearer, turn the trial axis to the red dot for about 5 degrees to refine it. Remember, we started at 10 degrees. We are now down at 5 degrees. To refine the axis you can even go even lower to about two degrees to be as precise as you possibly can once you have the correct axis in place it is now possible to get the correct power but with an incorrect axis it's very difficult to get the correct power so always strive to get the correct axis at first so let's see how to get the correct power Direct the patient to view one or two lines on the chart above what he could see without a cylinder. To get the correct power, align the axis of the Jackson cross cylinder to the axis on the trial frame and ask the patient if one view is sharper and clearer than the other. If the positive cylinder is better, add the cylinder equivalent to the power on the Jackson cross cylinder and vice versa if the minus is clearer. To refine, you can use a smaller power of the Jackson cross cylinder, like the 0.25 diopters, to get the exact power. When the patient gives an indication that there is no difference between the two sides of the Jackson cross cylinder as you are flipping over, at this point, it indicates that what is on the trial frame is the patient's axis and the power. And you can end it here. And this concludes how to check if a patient needs a cylinder, how to get their axis, and how to refine the power. So thank you for listening to this second part of the three-part series on subjective refraction. Do watch the first part on getting the best vision sphere. In the next, we cover the final checks to make sure the patient will be as comfortable as possible with the prescription that you're going to give. Remember to get more on our other related videos, subscribe to this channel, and we will alert you when we do upload. Until next time, goodbye.
Thank you.